Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Christine and these are my teammates, Emma, Mariana, and Stephanie. Our project is called Snakes. Snakes is a real-time in-browser multiplayer game where users can use their mobile devices to control snakes on a single shared game screen. Snakes grow when they eat and die when they collide. The objective of the game is to be the last snake standing. We created Snakes because we love playing simple in-browser and mobile games, but found ourselves wishing games like these could be a social experience rather than an antisocial one. We also wanted to challenge ourselves to use unfamiliar JavaScript libraries, work with real-time event emission, and implement complex spatial and temporal logic. Now Emma will walk you through our app structure. As Christine mentioned, players use their mobile devices to control snakes on a single shared screen, which we'll call the projector. When someone opens our game on a computer, they open the projector screen, which first displays a waiting room. Users then connect to the game with their mobile devices, where they're first prompted to enter a username and then redirected to a controller screen. From the controller, players use four touch-enabled buttons to move their snakes. When four players have connected to the game, the projector screen closes the waiting room and opens the game screen. The controllers then become active, and the game begins. To create a division between users, mobile users, and the projector, we check the type of device when a user connects to the game. If it's a mobile device, we render the mobile view, and if it's a computer, we render the projector. Now Mariana will wa walk you, give you a more detailed look at our data flow. Most of our data is centralized on the projector side, such as user information and information about each snake and food objects. This is used by the projector to render the visual state of the game. One of the challenges we had to overcome is how to transmit data in real time from the player's phones to the projector client, where all the game logic resides. And this is where Socket IO library comes in. Instead of the projector having to make multiple requests to the server to check whether there is any new data available, it allowed us to emit events from the player's phone when the direction of the snake is updated. The projector identifies each player currently connected to the game by their socket ID. When a new direction change event comes in, it's redirected by the server to the projector with the corresponding player's ID attached. When the projector receives the event, it updates the player's snake object and cal calculates the new state of the game. And now, Stephanie will tell you more about other technologies that we used. To build our game's functionality in appearance, we used p5.js, a JavaScript library that extends its ability to produce visuals and implement interactive programs in 2D. We use p5 functions to create our game loop that runs 10 times per second. Each time, we're calculating each snake's distance relative to the other snakes on the canvas to, to determine collisions. We're also keeping track of how many fruits they have eaten and the snakes that, that are still alive to determine the winner. Then we're redrawing all the snakes again to simulate movement. We're using a Redux store to keep the information centralized and update dynamically the game state. And we also use React to create our beautiful UI front end. With, in the future, we hope to implement a more fluid movement of the snakes and also increase the game capacity for players. You can check our game at snakeswithfriends.com. Thank you very much.